Welcome back fellow gamers, your host Average Gaming, and we are back in Oxygen Not Included. And today I want to work on power because this system doesn't work if I don't have coal. Yeah, so I cut down my hatch to the 16. So they're not producing enough coal. Keep my colony going. So we need to get off of coal, right? And use coal as a backup. So I'm thinking we use this steam vent over here for power. It should produce a decent amount of power for us, hopefully, if I know what I'm doing. And I usually don't, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, so to do that, the first thing I actually want to do is plan this design out. So this steam vent by itself is four high, right? And it comes out pretty hot at about 500 degrees. It's currently overpressured and not dormant, which is annoying, but we'll figure that out. What I want to start doing is actually plan this bill out. And it works a little better if I plan this bill out, then come back to you guys. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this is the design we're looking at, right? We got a iron aqua tuna, which is supposed to be steel. And not because I don't even think it'll break, but I'm afraid that it will break, at least when it first start up. Okay, so the way this is set up, right? We have the aqua tuna set up here. That's gonna keep this at a decent temperature. I run all the pipes outside this little steam room because I don't really want like anything to change the temperature of the water. So we're gonna give them some time and they should do some building for us. They're also gonna have to do some cleanup for us. And then I'm going to try to vacuum the entire area out, which is going to be a lot harder than it seems because of the fact that this thing is not dormant. <laughs> it's actually still, it's just overpressurized. So it's going to be hard to like, you know, I might just be able to vacuum it out before that. So I'm thinking I could just do, I put a pipe here, one here and here. I should just be able to vacuum all these things out of here, right? Just run that there run this here this there some high pressure vents on them and that should just work for me for a bit and i just give it power this way like that at this line i don't think it's using yeah this line has an extra 800 it could use so i think that's gonna work we just gotta let these guys do some building now and then i'll just put a door here and that should seal this off hopefully yeah i don't think i need to do water in here because this guy is gonna pressurize itself I'm pretty sure they're going to pressurize themselves, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I just got to let them build. So now that this is built, I think it's time we clean up, right? It's a very simple design. I have to put a door here still. I forgot to put that here and one here. And then we're just going to pump everything out of here. And I'll give these guys a massive sweep command. So they'll come in here, they'll sweep everything up. And once we get this whole place a void, I'm going to open up here. I don't think it's going to be good. It's not going to be good at all. I also got to send power back to the main line. So I'll try to figure that out too and see. So I'm thinking, where's our main line here, right? So I have my main brick over here. So I can take this. I need to, <laughs> I need to find a way to make 20,000 watts of power. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. You saw that, right? Potential load 20,000 watts. Actually, it's above 20,000 watts, which means I need to upgrade all my wires because this <laughs> regular wire doesn't, it's, it's too much. So I need to start using, where's the new wire? Heavy watt conductive wire. And we could, we could do it with iron. I think I'm just going to start building with that now. Oh, wow. I never thought I would get to this point where I need to start using heavy wood conductive wire. All right. So I'm thinking something like this is going to work. And I'm going to boost the priority of all these guys to about six. So they get it done a little faster. And power wise, if we could get this close to efficient, it can make us about 2,000 watt, which is not close to the 20,000 we need. Can you get that much power in arc? I don't know. Can you? Because I really would like to know. I'm actually for a friend. Not for me, for someone else. But, you know, <laughs> I'm going to let them build this and I'll come back to you once they're finished. All right. So now I think it's time for the true test, right? This system is built. It's set up. I'm going to use oil for this one. <laughs> Grandma told me to use polluted oil, but I don't have it anywhere close by. I mean, polluted water. I guess I could fish it out from here, but... I already had wires running here and everything like that. So that's, I'm just going to connect this for now. <laughs> then we're going to go from there. Where's the connection? I think it's here has to be connected. And that's going to send some oil this way. And then that should end up in this cooling system. I shouldn't be doing the cooling system. Okay, now. <laughs> for the part that I am a little scared about is opening up here. As you can see, I made this a little smaller because I didn't want to get tons of this everywhere. So I made a little smaller setup here that it's now a lot of air and hopefully this stays pretty pressurized and pretty hot. And I'm going to give them a super high priority to move this stuff out of here because I don't want anything melting. So I've actually run out of power up here. 
this is pretty much out of hydrogen. So this still has a little power, which is nice, but we definitely need the system up and running like immediately. And as you can see, I haven't put batteries in here or anything. Oh, this is so stressful. <laughs> But we're almost ready. My food has dropped a lot. For some every time I run a power, my food drops like a ridiculous amount. And I don't usually know why. Oh wow. I need to check my <laughs> I have lost track of the amount of liquid I'm putting in here. Okay, that's more than enough. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, so this is is this done yet? <laughs> it is done. Yeah. Let me just let him finish cleaning up and then we're gonna go from there. There's a lot of stuff here for them to sweep. Now there's two more things for them to sweep here. I know the power is gonna be an issue. I'm seeing dupes. I'm seeing dupes with suits that don't seem to be working well yet. All right, let's <laughs> let's test this now and see how well. Oh no, wait. I might have messed up. Um, I need to open this. Um, okay, Max. It seems like Max could do it. Oh, cause here you got three towels. Got it. Max, you my dude. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> now it's dormant <laughs> this is a stupid thing it's now dormant it wasn't dormant for like the last 40 it was it's ridiculous <laughs> oh this is just terrible i have some of the worst luck with these things don't i <laughs> i can't believe it's now dormant and they go dormant for a minute like dozens of cycles oh this these volcanoes are by far the stupidest thing I've dealt with so far. All right, what I'm gonna have to do is just, we need a plan B. It sucks that I can't even test plan A, but I think it's time we move on to plan B. The next thing I have to do, right? This is producing about, I should put a sensor in there, shouldn't I? Cause I don't want this to be zero. Actually, I don't think I'm, I don't think I care. In this particular setup, I don't care, but I also want to send this system here. What else can we use for power? So I have these, the coal and that, that's not gonna work. We have the petroleum generator that produces about 2000 watt. What does that require though? So how do I get petroleum? I know there's a way to make it, but I don't know what that way is. Okay, I can get an oil refinery. Takes 10, produce five. So we could do an oil refinery to get us the petroleum we need, or we could do slicks, slicksers. But I don't have a temperature to keep these guys alive because they need to be a pretty hot area. So I'll be honest with you. This wasn't as exciting as I expected. I really did expect a little bit more power from the system, but it don't seem to give that much power, which is kind of depressing a little bit. Um, I really expected more. So my room might be a little too big, so I might have to like make this room a little smaller, but that's a different story. Um, The pressure gets pretty well, but it doesn't last too long. I am trying to do a cool box, but oh, it's struggling. I'm thinking I'll have to like double aqua tune of these things because yeah, it's not staying cool at all. I'm having the same issue over here, and I'm also having the same issue over here. With this particular system, my oxygen system is now hot. It's all now hot. <laughs> I don't like any of that. Yeah, so the it's too much of heat. I gotta figure, I gotta literally double double aqua tune these guys. Or else it's just not gonna work for us. And yeah, even though I do have radiant pipes here, I'm not actually using that. It's just going through a normal loop. And it's just trying to cool the equipment down, but I want to cool the air down before it gets to us. I just don't know if this is, I'm hoping that it's once you do it, you don't have to like power two aqua tuna all the time. So yeah, so I'm hoping it's not too bad and we don't have like a ridiculous power requirement. So I'm going to double aqua tuna in this one. And honestly, I really don't care much about the water coming out here. It is just being dropped in this cold area, but it'll eventually heat up, but I'll hopefully by then <laughs> I'll find a good way to deal with um, all the heat. I am trying to chill the area in the most inefficient way as possible, of course. So I have that running. I have this one running but for some reason. This one just doesn't seem to get below 50. Yeah, so we can let those run. I am losing some heat over here, and that's because these joint plates are just terrible. Um, I could replace the doors, but it's not going to help because they joint plates. So I really don't care much. I'm just going to let those run. It does mean the aqua tuna is going to be on a little bit more, but yeah, 70% of the cycle, it's not on a lot. So I think it's fine. Yeah. But as long as this is keeping the temperature pretty decently, I'm not worried too much about the air quality. I could dig down a little bit more to get this natural gas geyser running on. Oh, I haven't even analyzed it yet. I think it's dormant now. Yeah. So it's being drained. I'll move this a little closer because I think I could go a little closer and make this room a little smaller. But I am pumping that straight up here too. Right now we have 
we have five of these running and i'm pretty sure five is close to what i'm ex i'm already exceeding the limit but i just need to get power going and with all of that i'm still not like charging these batteries none of my batteries are like actually charging i am just using up more power than i need this one is staying pretty cons consistent so these guys are not turning on my coal supply is building back up which is really nice we're doing really good that way food has jumped up barbecue is finally starting to come in <laughs> my drecos are not like dying out anymore i finally got a temperature in here like stabilized because of the fact that we have the air coming in so cool that everything is starting to run the way they should um my food supply right now is mostly barbecue grip Preserved grapefruit. Bristle blossom is now starting to come because I have water running through it now. I'm using the toilet water, okay? I don't think it goes on the food. I really hope it don't. But I don't see any food poisoning there, so I think we're good. And I'm also moving my dupes bathroom system over here. I want to get this whole area set up for rooms. So I move I moved the bathroom over here. I have a new filter set up for that. Yeah, so it's going in, keeping it clean. The excess water is going to this bristle blossom with this being a priority and two pumps there to keep it hopefully good and then i'm just going to deconstruct all of this and all of these are going to be rooms so i have 13 dupes i do want to get to about 16. should i get should i go for another supply and dupe i think i do have the resource to feed them right and i don't even know her name nisbet let's put her in here and i'm going to give her this food hall so that should be her place yeah that should work and then i'm just gonna send her across there and then she's gonna you know join the training room okay there we go now oh she went straight to bed <laughs> um yeah so she's gonna work she's gonna eat she's gonna do all this stuff she needs to do she'll be good and like i said we're looking for about two more dupes maybe four two more dupes to maybe six dupes and as long as my food is going up i'm not worried um when my food stagnates then i get a little bit worried but for now i think we're good and we could always expand farming if we want to so yeah so what i want to do for the rest of the episode um today is get some decent housing done so the room's got to be pretty big which is not which is um okay i guess because the rooms need to be a private room needs to be about 24. so i think we could do that pretty easily with this setup it's an army do four or four by six should be more than enough to get us the right setup we need which means i should be able to do one two three rooms in here so we'll do three six this will be 12. Do I really have to move this setup to? I should just put these in the other sides. I really should put these all over here. I will just get rid of these. And <laughs> we've been lucky enough that nobody's gotten sick recently. So really hasn't been needed. And that's the wallpaper for the rooms. And the room decor is finished. So this should now be a... What else are you missing? Oh, it needs two decor items. And I have one. So I'm just gonna put another one there. And that should be two. And this should be a private room now. It is. It's only a plus one morale, which is not a lot, but I think it'll be nicer for the dupes, you know, make them a nice little place. They work hard. They've worked hard to get this colony to the way it is with my, you know, inadequate management. Now we have the two aqua tuna going. And yeah, it's starting to cool down a little. Let's see. So it's coming in at 88. Then it should hit this sensor. Yeah, and it's going back there. But it's coming back in at 80. So we're only really eating about 80 degrees. I mean, 8 degrees. I guess it's not bad, but <laughs> with time, hopefully it'll get better as this cool down a little more. But this is producing power. I don't, I don't want to say that power is like solved, but it's relatively handled. But I'm working on my second little bedroom area for another three dupes. And it's coming along. I'm gonna try to use all the patterns just to see and make something out of it. All right, so we have our three room build right now. So three new, three dupes are gonna go in there and I'm gonna get rid of three room here. So this is kind of how I'll rebuild the other rooms by slowly getting rid of, you know, bills and then putting it, moving the room, getting rid of, moving the room, getting rid of and going from there. 
All right, so all we have all the rooms set up. I just missed not miss. I just realized I'm missing one decor item here, and that should be it. Well, this is gonna need two. I wanted to do more gold statue, but I don't really have that much gold apparently. And their decor is already maxed out, so I really don't even need to do anything too fancy. Because if you go to the core, yeah, these are already max. Like, let's see, what is her last decor? I thought it tells you what decor they had recently. Condition. I don't like it. it says low oxygen there, but whatever. Yeah, I thought it shows you decor. I gotta find something to do with all the extra carbon dioxide that's accumulating here. We'll figure something out with that. But I don't, I'm not sure what yet. But yeah, like I was saying, the dupes are in their homes. They're all set to go right now. Let me put some plants in there. What do I have a ton of seeds of? Yep, and that should be good. This way, everybody's all set. They're all happy. Their morale is like through the roof right now. Yeah, we're hitting all the way up to like, what's that, 40? No, that's skill points. <laughs> we have the highest of 48 morale, the lowest of 25, which makes sense because she's in our own area. But yeah, so 34 seems to be the lowest where everyone in the main colony is getting. So we could definitely go ahead and ensure everyone has suit wearing all right so everyone now is in suit wearing we have a few that's a little higher up just because of their lifestyle but yeah i think everyone here is pretty good now the highest morale need looks like 20 22 so i think we'll be good for morale for quite some time and i don't really need to spec them into anything else anymore so i think the only thing left for me to do now and i'll do this off in between episodes clean <laughs> this area up get rid of all the extra material i'm gonna leave the abyss light up here i do need a new builder a digger i'm thinking a new digger builder would be good because i want to send a dupe over to the other colony and i was thinking about sending max because max has been like my og max has been around since day one i think yeah since cycle one so i might just send him over to have him like start a new colony for me because you know the og he did it once he could do it twice oh <laughs> he's gonna lose his comfy bed but you know we'll start him off pretty nice yeah for now i think power is doing pretty well it's not terrible we're still it's not exactly where i want it i wanted to have like a big surplus of power but that didn't seem to happen we'll have to come back a different day and organize everything but once i get the base area cleaned up properly i think we'll be able to organize a little better how we want this all to set up but your host average gaming i'll catch you all later yeah let me know if you have any ideas for power because i need to figure out power and I don't have easy access to the lava yet. Like it's not cleaned out. I have to dig all this out maybe in the next couple episodes. But I'll see you later. Hope you all enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to stay updated on the content and when I put new videos, hit that subscribe button. And on the screen, YouTube should be recommended a video that they think you'll like. Enjoy. Good night, folks.